This is Rob Swan speaking to you at the eBase here in Ladakh. Now what is an eBase? This building is made only of sustainable materials and is powered only on renewable energy. And many, many years ago I became the first person in history to walk to the North and South Poles and on those journeys I saw so many things that were happening that were bad for our environment, ice caps melting, but those things were happening at the North and South Poles. Uh, but what we decided to do was to build some e-bases, education stations that run only on renewable energy, that are a resource for teachers around the world. Our first one was built in Antarctica. Our second one was built at the Pench Tiger Reserve uh, in the centre of India. And our third one here, right on the northernmost tip of India uh, in Ladakh. And these e-bases, we hope, are an inspiration to young people at a time when really all we deliver for young people is negative news. And no one on this earth is inspired by negative, so we like to be positive. And one of the reasons that we chose this amazing place, this cold and harsh and hot desert here, was that this place was hit really hard exactly three years ago by some really amazingly odd weather. A cloudburst hit this place, it's a desert, a huge mudslide came through this uh, town just over here and sadly killed 200 people. Now these people did nothing wrong, they live a reasonably sustainable life. You know, it's the rest of the world, especially us in the West, that are causing these changes. So we wanted to come here and really do a fantastic job, we hope, in inspiring teachers, the local community, and to get things right. So that's the reason for the eBase, and that's the reason we've chosen Lay here in Ladakh. Hello, we are at the third pole education base, a dream inspired by Sir Robert Sahn. He's here. Well, it's fantastic to be here. You know, we have an e-base in Antarctica. We have an e-base in the lowlands of India at the Pench Tiger Reserve. But, you know, it's no good having an e-base without power. And it's just so amazing from Luminous that you've supported us. It's not like we're doing something in Delhi or in Bombay or in Calcutta. You all know where Ladakh is. This is a long way away from nowhere. And you've been a fantastic support to us and we really, really appreciate this because it's got to work. You know, we're not running a little generator around the back. This either works or it doesn't. So we like to put things to the test and you and your team have passed the test 100% and I want to thank you, not only on behalf of the Global Himalayan Expedition, our organisation 2041, but also, you know, 500 students here at the local school and millions of people, and I mean millions of people around the world, who will be looking at what we're doing here, powered by you. Hello, sir. Hello. Opening our your eBay. <laughs> Thank you. And with uh, all the children's eBay. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Let's do it. Yeah. Yay! Because remember, it's your eBay. Yay! 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 Okay, you go first. Off you, sir. Well done. Thank you, Luminous. It's been so nice to have uh, this kind of specific equipment at this remote region in harsh conditions. Uh, working perfectly fine for the past one week and uh, we have all the lights and everything working fine. Let me give you a bit of technical uh, specifications of the products here. Uh, we have four batteries here and two inverters. The solar panels, six panels 
for one, two batteries and one inverter, six panels for two batteries and one inverter. As of now, we are using this inverter. The wire is coming from outside into these batteries. These batteries are specifically designed for you know the harsh conditions. In, even in the winters, if the conditions are minus 40 outside, it remains plus 10 degrees inside and they work perfectly fine. And this inverter is an amazing inverter. So as of now, we have the wire coming in, we have the charge coming in. Let us see if it works. Uh, yes, we have the solar on, we see the green light on. So that means the solar is charging the batteries. Now let's see if the solar is able to convert the DC input to the AC input for the lights. So we have this connection which converts the DC into AC. This is gone to the mains. Now let's see if the light is on or not. Bingo! Bingo! Well done. This is amazing. But what's incredible is that our little e-base in Antarctica I think only has a kilowatt. Yes. The one in Pench Tiger Reserve I think only has a kilowatt. So only you being you two kilowatts. with your support have got two kilowatts because one thing that we're really interested in which I know will help your business is to show how reliable your system is. I mean we've been doing talks here to the school we've been three times the power has gone off during people's talks three times and that's in one hour so I think that the reliability of your product is what really nice. hopefully will help your business so we're here to test it so when you get new panels new things you want to test bring them to us we'll test them to the max guys how do you feel about it thanks Rob uh, for your kind words uh, we are happy to get associated with this global Himalayan expedition eBase which we have set up in Leh so we have got solutions which can power such kind of requirements where there is no power available we will also have we also have sol solutions for giving power to uh, people who live in deep rural areas right. villages and all okay. the which they have no power available so we are very happy and keen and eager to continue the association with global Himalayan expedition in future as well thank well thank you. you very much and thank you both very much thank for you coming you. and you know the last thing is you know we want to be able to help your business you're not just you know, showing leadership for us, but you're showing leadership for the planet. So we want to thank you very much.